Uh, Wenger went through a Premier League season unbeaten. That alone wins it for me over Klopp, says 58 go. Uh, Klopp's got 60-65%. Uh, who do I think's better? Um, I think Jurgen Klopp, it's probably an age thing here. Jurgen Klopp is... And it's probably because we've got more Liverpool fans watching than Arsenal as well. Um, I think they're both closer than people think. Um, not in relation to holidaying or Christmas, but I think that they... Wenger sort of revolutionised the Premier League in relation to diets and approach and, and technicality as well. So he was an architect uh, of the Premier League, Wenger, when a lot of people really didn't, you know, know a lot about it. Um, and he was very, very successful at Arsenal. Um, I think he was more successful with Arsenal in relation to league titles than Klopp. In fact, he must be. So you could probably make a case that Wenger is better than Klopp at the moment. But um, remember, Klopp's still in the role. And um, I think I think it's a watching brief for me. But I, I do think Wenger did a great job at Arsenal, and you can't deny that. I mean, I, I witnessed it firsthand, so... I know how good uh, Wenger was because they were a real problem for Man United in the late 90s. So, But what I, will, what I would say in relation to 58 go is I don't think... I mean, obviously, Wenger never won a Champions League and Klopp's already done that and he's been to another final, which he lost as well. So um, I think it's quite close between the two. But the unbeaten thing, I'm not... Uh, I've got into trouble with this before and I'll say it again. I'm not impressed by... The Invincibles. I never have been. Um, it's a good. It's a good achievement, and it's one to cling on to. But the Invincibles gets mentioned like the treble. Um, I think Chelsea. There's been many better Premier League sides than that Invincible side. Chelsea 05, 100 percent. Man United 99, 100 percent. I actually even think Arsenal 98 double is better than the Invincibles because they didn't win anything else. They only won the Premier League. They didn't win the FA Cup. They didn't win the Carabao Cup. They didn't win the Champions League. They drew 12, 12 Premier League games. 12. Yeah. So, I, I mean, look at... Um, you look at uh, Arsenal this season. They've drawn four and we're halfway through the league. Uh, Villa have drawn three. Spurs have drawn three. So, drawing 12 games in a Premier League season is a lot. I think the Invincibles is an amazing achievement and I don't think anyone will do it again but I think it was a very um, unique thing that Arsenal became obsessed with and that's probably why they drew so so many games but I don't think the Invincibles are the best Premier League side ever just because they were invincible because they didn't win anything else and also I think there's been better like the Centurions are surely better than that um, but Wenger versus Klopp deserves a lot of respect. Um, he does. Uh, Wenger before the Emirates was elite, says OK Edits. And based on what they did in the Premier League, I would say uh, Arsenal Wenger is a winner, says Hamlet. Uh, so 65% have gone with Klopp on that one. Um, Klopp is Graham Potter without Salah, says Brian too. And... Uh, they were not the best. It's just that it hasn't ever happened before or again. I here's a question for you, because I, I feel that I feel that, I feel like I might be disrespecting the Invincibles a little bit here. I'm not. It's just not. I don't think they're the best Premier League team ever. In fact, they wouldn't be in my top three. Having said that, I don't think it will be done again, um, because I just think. I think Arsenal homed in on it that season and were like, we want to do this. This is what we want to do. And I think they knew they wanted to do it. How how early would you say Arsenal wanted to do that? How how early do you think it came into their head that they wanted to do that? February? January? They definitely got obsessed with it. Um, whereas I think today, Pep would go, I don't really care about Invincibles uh, as long as I win the league uh, and I want to win the Champions League as well. I think teams uh, spread their bets a little bit more. And um, I think it also depends on the season you're playing in. The season that uh, Arsenal were invincible, Man United was shit that year. Liverpool was still shit. Chelsea weren't very good. The, the one, you know, the, you, I think you've got to do it in a season where everybody's a bit shit as well. Um, yeah. Uh, Liverpool 18-19 had one loss in the league with 99 points, says Manav. 
And uh, Mark, do you agree Liverpool find a suitable replacement for Benio and they can win the Champions League or Premier League in the next two years, says Mark. Well, you can't win the Champions League this year, but I think if you were in it, you'd have a chance. You could win the league this year. So I don't think you need a replacement for Fabinho. I think you've got midfielders that you need to figure out how good they are. And at the moment, they're doing a good job. Um, was definitely February as they played for a draw against United at home in February. and put, uh, uh, But for Rude missing a penalty would never have happened, says Glenny Boy. Well, the, 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 look, VAR didn't exist then. History has been written. But uh, there was a there was a bloody blatant dive as well from Perez against Portsmouth, wasn't there? Uh, but look, you know, we, we all have those things. I'm sure if you went back through the United 99 season, there'd be some goal or something that never should have been given. Um... Goal Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact... Smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.